We created an ACT reading PowerPoint to try and help you guys get a better score on the ACT. This first slide is going to be five of the ten most common errors that students tend to make on the ACT reading section. The first one is not reading the question, answering a different question than what is actually being asked. So make sure you carefully read each question so you can clearly understand what you're looking for. Answering with a word match instead of a meaning match. A lot of the times the answer choices are derived from the passage. So just because you see something that's familiar to you doesn't mean it's the right answer. Focus on meaning, not just because you've seen it before. Choosing an unsupported outlier because it cannot be proven wrong. If the answer choice is not directly supported by the passage, then it cannot be right. Support is a big thing with the reading section. Answering a figurative question with a literal answer or vice versa. Make sure you read the question so you understand what it's asking you. Don't overthink it. Not looking at the text when a question refers to a line number. It's very important that you refer to the right line number when answering a question. If it asks for line number two, then refer to line number two only. More common errors include choosing an answer supported by only one paragraph when the question asks about the passage as a whole. For example, if you were to ask about the tone, you do not only want to read the first paragraph, you want to read the whole passage. Choosing an answer because it has a big and unfamiliar word. This means just because it has a word that you may not know, you go straight to it because it, it looks right. And vice versa, avoiding an answer choice because it has, it has a word that you may not know. Because it, just because you may not know it does not mean it's wrong either, so do not be afraid to choose it. Skipping the text and going straight to the questions. You may have been taught when you were younger to go to the questions first and reread the passage to find the answers. This has shown to not be effective, so you want to read the passage first. Staring blankly at a question or section of the text, um, you do not want to waste time on the ACT because it is time, so if you do not know an answer, just move on. 